What is up everyone, this is Mo Gaming here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix the place in for error code SU-42481-9. So this is a basically a software firmware update issue error code that happens, and I'm going to kind of show you what to do to fix this. So if you can't even log into your PlayStation 4 screen, uh, kind of like skip a little bit of the video, but if you can, what you want to do is first, if you can, go into notifications and then just delete the update the update that was possibly having so i actually kind of deleted it but if you have the 8.5 update and it's here just delete it from here so you're kind of good to go um well if you do that and then we can go to the next step so turn off your playstation 4 completely because we are going to be entering into safe mode so this is the part where we're going to basically show how you can actually get rid of this error resolve it and basically be able to use your playstation 4 play all that good old fortnite cod apex all that other good stuff <laughs> so let's get right into this so the, what we're going to do is like i said we're going to completely turn off the playstation 4 and we're going to wait for it to stop flashing on the right side the white flash is happening um just waiting for it to stop and because we're going to enter into safe mode basically we're going to do some back end stuff over here to essentially fix this error and update your console so let's see. All right, it is completely off. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold on to the power button for about 8 to 10 seconds until you hear two beeps. Um, all right, my PS4 doesn't make any noise. I don't know what happened. So I just mentally note the time in my head and I let go around that 8 to 10 second mark. All right, let's let go. Boom. As you can see, we are now in safe mode. Now, FYI, you do need a, a USB cable connected to your uh, DualShock controller to be able to navigate within play uh, safe mode so we're going to basically press the button uh, my cable sucks actually all right we are inside so we're going to do a couple of things so the first thing is i want you to basically rebuild your database this doesn't really delete or do anything it just rebuilds the database which could be possibly uh corrupted hence why a lot of these errors are happening and once you're done rebuilding the database it'll restart your place for if you were stuck you'll get back into safe mode if not just turn it off and go back into safe mode once you do that, I want you to then go to option number three and basically do update system software. We're gonna do update use, excuse me, update using internet, which is basically going to not, you don't need a USB device or anything, and it's going to just re-download it from here and install the system update. So just to give you a perspective, if you basically click into this, you'll see, it's gonna show you the latest software version right there as it focuses in so you can basically do that if you want to try a safer route basically or a sure proof route what you can do is you can actually back out and then try with the usb storage device if you don't know how to do that i have a video basically showing how to essentially do this and you can kind of follow those same methods rebuild database and then try number one instead of number three before trying these drastic methods that i'm about to show you right now if those fail for some reason you're going to sadly have to initialize your playstation 4 basically doing option number six or option number seven what this means is option number six and seven will essentially delete everything off of your PlayStation 4 console. Now, obviously, that's very drastic. Obviously, you don't want to do that. So you might want to try those other methods first. Now, doing this is going to delete it and it will reinstall the system software. If number six doesn't work, that is without any USB or anything. You might want to try number seven, which is with the USB. So that's basically similarly to how number three with USB works. I have a video on that. We'll be leaving in the description below or in the comments. You basically reinstall the software via a USB and it'll basically make it just like as it came out the box per se. It'll have the latest software version, it won't be crashing, it'll have the latest update and you should be good to go. Sadly, all the games will get deleted which is the crappy part, but like I said, you'll be at least able to play the console and you won't have to trash it and throw it out. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Uh, if you guys overall like this video, please smash that like button, helps a lot. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell and that more coming up. Peace.